scrappy win over complexity, and even if they do qualify for the legend stage, I'm not going to have much faith in this team if you know with with the fashion of some of the wins they've had. So a lot on the line here for both the teams. For Liquid trying to take make this one convincing, over complexity battling for survival. A three-man push from Liquid here towards mid. This is a bit unorthodox. I don't like it though. They're pushing up. But complexity, just waiting for some aggression to take place. Ali is going to lead the charge, dropping down towards the ladder. And this flank is perfection. Floppy, however, spots a leech. His spider sense tinkling in it. That's going to send a leech scurrying back up towards mid, leaving shocks alone. Buys lonesome on the B bomb site. Backup is arriving, but he's got to hold the line. He's going to find one. Looking for the second kill, which will not come. Caught reloading, but a jig is up as a leech has arrived. Exactly. And shocks, because he survived so long, has bought him so much time. Look at all these CTs just exploding onto the site, washing it away. And the wave too steep for complexity to deal with. JT, though, manages to navigate his way around the side of it. It will come back around if he's not careful. 40 seconds on the clock. Time still on his side, but they know exactly where he is. P250 could do a bit of damage, and that smoke could very well afford him a couple more options now. But it doesn't land exactly where he was hoping for. There's a huge gap in that smoke. They can push around. Good shot onto a leash. But Nitro proving there is indeed strength in numbers. Liquid claimed first blood. Complexity didn't even get a bomb plant there. Nice attempt there from Elise to get in for the flank, but once I, I like the call coming in from Complexity though. The moment they knew there was a flank taking place, immediately pivoting towards the bomb site. But Shock's doing just a great job. He even find, he finds the one kill, and the fact that he just stays alive buys so much time for his teammates to teammates to arrive to the B bomb site and shut it down. So Liquid off to a good start here. Of course, it's going to be because the four still coming in for Complexity though, despite not getting the bomb down. That, that means no Galils. There's going to be Tech Nines, a couple of Deegs in play, Nitro behind the sandbags. The Flash is going to pop. He's not going to peek with it yet, however. And I don't think anyone is going to be checking this. The Leech up close. Nitro's going to show himself getting dinked down, though, but he's got back up in the form of Leech. And one by one, they are getting shut down here by the CTs. Yeah, this force doesn't afford them any rifles, just pistols. And you're just seeing that superior firepower rise to the top, shutting down players left and right, which means they'll have very little in the back pocket now, complexity. Could maybe go for a couple P250s, maybe a Tech 9, maybe even scrape together a Deagle or two, which Grim and JT have gone in for. But this is looking like an excellent position for Liquid to take a 3 0 on complexity's choice of map. They can farm a lot of cash here, right? He's got NAF, got Shocks, uh, the bonus round. But not bonus round, rather the, uh, the the bonus round weapon, so to speak. Shocks though gets taken down. Okay, Floppy and JT teaming up together to find the Frenchman, and this is very, very, very aggressive from Liquid. I'm not necessarily a big fan of this. Leash and Nav, however, trying to bring things back within the realms of normalcy, but it's still a three v two Vince. Uh, against just barely uh, pistols, right? We saw a couple of clocks in play. Nav, timing is everything, fortunately. We'll see the players running out. The MP9 not able to quite confirm the kills. And all of a sudden, it's a 2v2 bomb getting planted. This is already a win for Complexity. Uh, Nitro needs to make sure he doesn't get taken down because Elite is only on 23 HP. He's gone down to Junior. This is winnable. It has been won by Complexity. It was two Deagles and basically P250s. The Complexity have just embarrassed Liquid. That should never have happened. That should never have happened if you're Liquid. This is just... Oh, that's ugly. That's, that's so ugly. I mean, great shots coming in here. Absolute brilliant stuff from uh, Junior and, and Grim and everyone on the team. But honestly, how have the Liquid let that slip by? I thought, but they had three A1s and two SMGs, Vince, and I was like, oh, sorry, uh, they had a FAMAS as well in play, but you're like, okay, fine, sure, you lose a couple of players, it's just the SMGs, in fact, they lose everyone, they lose a round, and complexity, winning a round, they, they, they just gotta be thanking the lucky stars, it played out that way, that being said, though, they need to still try and capitalize on this, right, if they were able to win this round right now, they're gonna force Liquid to go for the full eco, that means complexity are gonna be going on uh, a bit of a streak, potentially even taking the lead here early on on this map. But now that they have the weaponry, is it going to fall apart is the question. Oh, see, he, sh he saw a scalp. 
That is Junius, is waiting for him to peek again. Double scoped in, looking for a pixel, a sign for him to rattle off a shot. Smoke will be deployed by the T's to slowly push on up as a liege tucked into the corner. Are they going to clear this? Are they aware of his position is the question. And the liege is a position that complexity should really be clearing out. Fang looking the wrong way, looking for the boots. Is now going to find a kill on the JT and that is a timing for the liege to strike and they will shut it down, Vince. That was complexity's opportunity to break the economy after all the work they did in round number three. That was loud. And I love it. I assume that's from the other game, because we were looking at Liquid, he just won that round, and they were all just chilling. So <laughs> I assume that's from the other matchup. The Outsiders game fours, uh, if that's still going on in the uh, the A stream. The good news, though, on Complexity is because of that third round that they did end up picking up, they had enough funds to actually send in an AK, a hero AK, but that hero has fallen. Has been picked back up again, though, from JT, who trades out his Deagle towards Fang. It's happened It's happened as well, just a couple of rounds prior. That's when I started to feel a little worried here. And sure, yeah, the hero AK, but it's been retrieved, right, Vincent? They've also got the kill on the shocks. And if they want to get that to mass, they can. There's no one from, from Liquid playing aggressively. And right now, though, complexity, pretty comfortable. Playing this one a little passively, and that's going to allow OC the opportunity to find the IGL complexity here towards the bottom of ramp. I mean, down Floppy, making quite a lot of noise towards mid, gonna be grouping up with the rest of his teammates, and this is the play, right? They're gonna be heading towards the B bomb site. There's a master still lying in wait for one of the members to pick up, and bear in mind, for the T's, they have no Kevlar, they have no armor. So it should, on paper, still be a pretty comfortable round here for Liquid. Grenade was picked up. Complexity looking to explode out onto the site momentarily. We have seen them lose from a, an easier position than this, though. Should be highlighted. And Fang and Floppy looking to try and make that nightmare a reality once more. Two on two. Considering the OC has the AWP, he needs Leech to have impact. And Leech has done just that as he splatters Fang. But Floppy is now alive. The bastion of hope from the first map. The best player on complexity. Had a chance. A narrow chance. Has had another one. The Deagle may prevail against the AWP in this kind of a position right now because oh. he can consistently rattle off shots. And one of them rattles the dome of OC. Complexity get their second. Again, again, again. It just loses to the pistols. Sure, there was an AK-47 in play there, but Liquid, they are... Oh, they're, they're, they're just hitting themselves at this point. It's like, st stop hurting yourselves. You can't afford to lose rounds like this. It's like one step forward and 10 steps backwards. Oh. You, you think, you start to believe their economy is going to build up and then beat by pistols. And look what that does. It's a huge boom to complexity's economy now. They've got tons of money in the, the bank if they lose this round. And Elise is going to try and push them into that position with his scout. Floppy, though, will court rise shocks from this round. And now Naf perched up on the site has a blockade of smokes to help him out. That should stall complexity, but they still got well over a minute and 20 seconds to play with. Slowing things down, our complexity no OC is going to use that opportunity to try and be a bit proactive. Footstep made, has been heard. Fang's still not looking his direction. I don't think Fang heard him. The bomb has dropped as well, and I'm not sure if OC peeked around the corner to see the bomb. Yep, now he sees it. Oh, this could be disastrous. They're going to be making a lot of noise towards B, but OC aware... Looking at the C4's position, there's a player nearby, and that is going to be Fang, and he will be executed from behind. And OC's like, guys, the bomb's here. I have ramp control. Group up on me. And that's exactly what they're going to do with complexity. Despite being a 4v4 earlier, things are starting to spiral out of control. Smoke deployed at the best time possible. With 40 seconds, still a bit of time to work with, but Liquid, they're all over the C4 right now. And this could, in fact, even be a save, Vince. What a scrappy game this has been, these opening six rounds we thought would be nerve-wracking. You can understand why, there's so much on the, the table for these two teams. But even then, Complexity is still fighting for this one, and Nitro can only muster up one frag. There's 20 seconds, they can try and push in, Smoke will keep the leash from having any more impact. 
And now Grim picks up the bomb. The B site is clear from Floppy's hands, and there should be enough time for this plant. There will indeed. This round's not done just yet. It looked like Complexity may very well go for a save, but then the trade went in their favor before Lee shows his hand and snatches away the life of Floppy and Grim. Liquid get a fourth, oh. but again, the position they were in, Blair, that should have been a comfortable round. That should have been the round done. 4v3, you have the bomb at your feet, and somehow, Complexity able to pry the C4 away from Liquid, get the bomb down. It, th th again, that was Liege. That was Liege really stepping up there and just getting two really nasty kills at the very end. This shot of Floppy was just filled up. He barely saw his head, but instantly deletes the two players there. But huge flank from OC there. And honestly, yeah, the moment he gets a kill on the Fang with the bomb at his feet, that should have been the round for Liquid. But again, complexity making it so very close, making Liquid sweat for each and every round. The buy will be coming in. But right now, having seen some of the, the, the two rounds, the fashion in which Complexity won, Vince, even if they just have Glocks, I'm still not going to feel comfortable <laughs> for Liquid. And right now, they have the AKs. They have the, the Kalashnikov. They got a couple of Galils. The AWP in the hands of Junior here. And for the side of Liquid, it's OC with a Zoom Banger of his own. And I did say this. I did preface this game, this map in particular, by saying that OC with that AWP was instrumental in that old extra salt lineup being so dominant domestically on this very map. So he's got the AWP, he's on the CD side. I want to see what he's got in store for us here as Floppy is taking a bit of damage to the Molotov. Look to find something. He sees a player on top of the stack boxes, but I don't think he's seen Nafly yet. Grim's just watching middle for a potential flank round the back. But they're keeping their options open. They're flowing out to each portion of the map. They have contingents Plans and multiple of them. And it's Grim in mid that does strike first. The Leech is the first player to fall. 10 and 4. He will be suppressed. Has been the standout player for Liquid, as has so often been the case throughout the years. And now they need one of their other heavy hitters to stand tall. I was mentioning before that they were kind of flowing out across the map, but it decides, but the decision, I should say, seems to be to hit the A side of the map sooner rather than later. And with 55 seconds left. They don't have to pull the trigger just yet. They're waiting and anticipating that a player such as OC may go looking for something to try and counteract. Had the right idea, but was fully flashed. And now Nitro has to hold the line against multiple angles. Nitro passes the first head, tries to spray in for the second, and Shox is there through the smoke. But it's grim. It wasn't the bomb carrier. So the bomb gets planted down, but Shox just pushes straight through the smoke. The audacity of the man just to rush there and take the fight to complexity. And with the smoke down on the scaffolding, this is going to be that much more difficult. Shox has removed the head of Floppy. Liquid pull off. What was that, a 2v4? A 2v4, 2v3, doesn't matter. That was an insane retake. Oh, man, Liquid. How did they see that one away? Because complexity, they had a perfect read, Vince. And, and the thing for Liquid is they seem to feel supremely uncomfortable when they don't have much information to work with, right? They keep pushing mid. They keep pushing the extremities. They're trying to find, trying to catch complexity off guard. But complexity are being so very calm, so very patient. We saw OC being caught on the open with a flash, uh, with a flashbang completely blinding him as well. They get the bomb down. But Liquid, the heroics, again, shocks coming in, clutch for his team. And bailing Liquid out from uh, from what should have really been around for Complexity. But for Complexity, sure, they get the bomb down, they lose the round. So lost bonus. Not that great right now. Deagles abound. No one with any Kevlar or any piece of utility apart from the one smoke in the hand of Fang. And Nap will find Floppy in the meantime. OC though getting taken out by Grim. And look at how low the player is right below him. That is shocks. But Nafly living up to his name. He comes flying up with the MP9 and ensures that his teammate will be protected. And Nap still looking for more. So despite that kill being found by Grim, it looks like it's really not going to be coming to anything here. This Liquid should make this one. I'm scared to say it, Vince, but it should be pretty comfortable. Oh, well, as you, as those words left your lips, Fang just taps you on the shoulder and reminds you of what they've been able to pull off so far on this map. Shocks on one HP, 46 for Naf. After they brute force their way back in with that clutch, they could be getting put down again. Nitro, though. Make sure that Fang's kill streak comes to an end. 
picking up two in this round. And now JT on two health with the Desert Eagle in hand. It's going to have to be pixel perfect on these execution shots. Molly in. Will be extending. He got peaked from two separate angles. And Liquid makes sure that they get a sixth. Again, though, Blair, they were in a good position. They lose three players. And Complexity never feel like they're fully out of these rounds. They lose three players to a buy, which consisted of five deagles and a smoke. Yeah. Vince, like, like, it's, it's like Liquid. They're just losing some of these duels. I don't think they're necessarily taking favorable fights and just offering you know, uh, deals with complexity. And we know the individuals on the, on this complexity side, they, they can really deliver. Like Floppy, we've seen what Fan can do. We've seen what Grim can do as well. And they're making them bleed. So even though, yes, sure, Liquid have the lead right now, six and two. If you're just tuning in, you're looking, scrolling, ah, six and two. Sure, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's looking pretty decently solid for Liquid, but it's not the case. The rounds are winning. It's coming down to the wire, the hemorrhage between the players. And they're losing rounds. They have absolutely no business losing. Complexity doing a listen. In all honesty, even though it's six and two right now, I think Complexity are doing a pretty, a pretty fantastic job with the calling here. They're able to get a pretty good read of what Liquid like to do. They're catching them off guard. This time though, it's a faster aggression towards mid, pushing straight in. Great flash as well as Nitro is already inside a T spawn with a minute and forty seconds on the clock. Junior will fall. I do like this from Liquid though, Vince. It's, they know it's a buy round, and they're not going to just sit by and just wait for Complexity to come to them. They, they are taking the fight to Complexity. In the meantime, Complexity, because of the play being pulled off there by Liquid, are going to be funneled straight into the A bomb site. Where right now, two players make that three line wait. Just over a minute on the clock. The leash is looking to try and make some moves. Won't feel too compelled to try and shake down any of these oncoming players, but Fang shattering a leash. Looking to subdue this site one more time. Nap with flashes out, spots two players. Smoke will be forthcoming as he tries to lock this one down, but it goes underneath the crane. He was hoping to back that off. And meanwhile, Floppy is on a long flank. But, ooh, uh, he's getting flanked as well, Vince. Yeah. Nitro coming in from behind. Oh, th this is weird. This is so strange. They don't know where Nitro is. Floppy's calling it. It's saying it. The B-bomb side is clear. They're going to be legging it. And Floppy falls. And now Nitro, he's aware they're going to be rotating back towards B. But what do Complexity do? Their point man at B has been taken down. So they now need to make a decision which side they need to head towards. And they have no eyes as to where the remaining CTs are. OC peering down with 20 seconds. With the orc, Flick doesn't connect, but information still gathered. Naf up on the boxes, can just put an end to this round, and he ties it up emphatically with the A1S. Liquid 7-2 lead, and although complexity will feel a bit hard done by by the scoreline, we're starting to see a little bit more of what Liquid have in store. Great, great round there from Nafly. The gambit set up. All right, we're going to find out what it is. I like that. I, I, I do, I, I'll say this to for Liquid, though. Even though some of the rounds, the, the two rounds they lost, they really shouldn't have. I think they got hyper aggressive against the half bites, which they really didn't need to go for. But overall, they, they've been very proactive on the CD side. And I'd rather go for that. Slowly creeping, crawling using the. Uh, the T smoke, they are making their way up here, but Elish is gonna find one and he needs to be helped out here. But JT and Floppy, they're gonna pounce on in, finding both the kills, and that means player advantage here for the T's. That being said, OC has arrived. He's gonna establish a bit of equilibrium in the server. And bear in mind, these are again just the pistols. We have Floppy with some Kebra, but that's about it. And sure, they, we should be able to maybe retrieve the rifles here, but it is still heavily favoring Liquid. So take. A Deagle powerhouse play to bring this back under contention, it feels like. Although they do have their hands on the A1S now. There's a HE up for the boxes. No one's home. Plant goes down. Liquid are in no man's land. In no position to even potentially thwart this play. The worst thing they could do at this stage is go in one by one. OC is trying to check out his angles, relay the information to his teammates that they are clear. And now he will go head to head with Naf. 
already though. Nearly half of this fuse on the bomb has ticked away. This is starting to get a little bit worrisome for Liquid. Shox is going to have to have impact again or have maybe not. OC with his all puts it to use for Junior Point Black Range with a Tech 9. Takes off the head. First spray is good, but there is Shox again. He's looking for the bomb. Did that extra time just wreck him? Is he got enough time for this right no now? I don't think so. The extra lap around the site costs him the round and complexity win with a terrible buy. Oh my god, how are how are you losing these rounds, Liquid? All the three rounds complexity have won have been with pistols. There was one round, a second round they won, which only had a solitary AK-47 hero AK by there. But apart from that, Liquid have just completely flubbed it so many times. I, I don't know why I just gave up the A bomb site there. I don't know why they just gave the A bomb site over there, thinking complexity had just legged it towards B. And then for Shoxy though, sure, he came in with a flank. It took so very long there, Vince, and he had to go around the side to pick up the kit. He didn't have a kit. He picks up the kit and then coming down to the final couple of seconds. And this time, despite his heroics, Shox not able to bail out Liquid. 73 for complexity. And it is, it boggles my mind how complexity have been winning some of these rounds. And look, to take nothing away, right? They are, they've been given an inch and they're taking it. They're taking it and making it into a mile. But just the fashion in which Liquid are, some of the decision making when it comes to the, these retakes and why they're being aggressive when they don't really necessarily have to at times, it is a bit confusing. And it's showing why complexity maybe picked this map here against Liquid. Uh, there are quite a few holes here. Quite a few holes for the NA side. The defending NA side, to be precise. Well, let's see if they can shore them up in time. They don't hemorrhage two more rounds. This is more like it. This is the frustrating thing about watching this liquid CT side. Like, they have rounds when there's rifles. They just shut it down. They look so comfortable. And then when it's Deagles and P250s, it's like the brain goes out the window. Listen, if I'm if I'm complex this coach, right, I'm like, guys, just stop buying guns. <laughs> Go for his Deagles and uh, just make liquid bleed. Well, Grim is still in this round. He doesn't have many opportunities, but he does possess the bomb. 55 seconds, NAF, low, 19 HP. And wouldn't it just be classic Liquid so far on Vertigo if they were to lose this round? Oh, that is lightning fast headshot. You can see Grim was just about to look away. May have got a jump scare from that one. Tickles the ball, kind of phase them out. But Nitro holds his line, holds his reserve and his nerve. And it will be putting his team to an 8-3 lead. However, if this pistol's coming up, don't look away from your screens for a few moments, ladies and gentlemen, because this could still get real scrappy. Like some of the decisions being made by Liquid where like, they're playing up close to its ramp when the T's have thrown the Lurk smoke and you know, they're just gonna pop their way through with the pistols. And that's when the, the Tech Nines, those Deagles can come out on top, up close and personal against the A1s. And that's what has been a little surprising for me that Liquid don't, they should have a real economy of complexity, but sometimes it seems like they don't. Pressure being exerted here towards B. One way smoke being deployed as Shox will use his own to keep them at bay. Player will be spotted out. Naf is more than ready. Shock trying to help his teammate out. Flashbang into the team flash coming in here as Shocks will drop and OC will join the party. 2v4. Again, it's a half by just a pistol. They just want to get the bomb down, get a little bit of extra money, but Naf will arrive. And it's all on the flop. 1v4. That's that eagle alongside him, but OC has the AWP, and the AWP will prevail at that range. 9 to 3, Complexity will have yet another purchase. No players have currently hit the 10 kill mark, whereas on the side of Liquid, everybody has hit that landmark as it stands. There's a big discrepancy in frags, as there is with rounds, and whereas at the start, you could say, you could argue Complexity deserved to have a couple more rounds. I think we're now starting to see that Liquid are prevailing to a point where it's getting a little bit sketchy for complexity. The fact that only three rounds have come off the back of pistols and some serious mistakes from Liquid doesn't give you a huge amount of confidence for the rest of this team half. This is very similar to the third round, which complexity won with the pistols. The only difference being this time around, it's going to be guns in the hands of complexity. That's a hell of a shot from Fang, but at least was traded this time around by OC. Elige still looking to take the five and floppy now. And a bit of an excursion, making sure 
There is no flank taking place from the beast There's a lot of noise being made as well. Bottom of the ramp is OC with a very, very brave peak. They're still making life very uncomfortable here for Complexity. They're keeping them pinned down. And that is now the opportunity for Shox to try and sneak his way in. As the members of Complexity start to group up, Shox is going to be heading down ladder, trying to be getting that flank early on. And in the meantime, the remaining members of Liquid slowly grouping up and trying to bolter that A bombs that We still have Nafly towards B as kind of a contingency, but the first point of contact here, it is going to be OC. Smokes off to the side. Shox wiggling his way around the back, is lurking on the prowl. This is now a race against time and complexity. Don't even know they're in the race. The a leash though through the smoke. A shattered JT and maybe shattered the dreams of this round. And Shox is about to show his hand. There's one. He's been so on point with these plays throughout the entire series. They line up and OC gets a collateral. Liquid probably didn't need him to land that shot so devastatingly strong to get the 10 rounds, but they get there all the same and they do it in style. The bomb dropped behind the site, Vince. That is so unfortunate for complexity. Even if the bomb got uh, dropped, if it was in front of the site, you're gonna pick it up more comfortably. But my, oh my. That's so unfortunate. Look, look at the bomb, it just drops behind the site. And now they have to run in behind. And then of course, OC, down to the smoke and the stars and the bodies aligned. The stars complexity getting taken down with the one solitary bullet from the Magnum. 10 to 3 here. Liquid, sure, sure. Some of the rounds they lost, actually, all the three rounds they lost, they should, really shouldn't have. But still, apart from that, it has been pretty solid altogether. OC, 13 and 7. The Leash, 14 and 9. Everyone having a very comfortable time. Nath, especially, 14 and 4. He's kind of the mid guy, right? The guy helping out Shoxy towards the B bomb site, ensuring that if they do run in towards B, he's always going to be there as a contingency plan. And he's been very, very solid indeed. For complexity, though, I mean. Another half by coming out, Vince. Uh, this is the Hero AK-47. Junior going to be leading the path. It's going to be OC. Oh, a whip shot. Oh, two whip shots. And that allows him a bit of safe flash. I say that, but now the man that you just highlighted on 14 and 4 has now escalated himself to 16. And Shox is right alongside him. He's had such a good series. 24, 25, 26 kills on Ancient, somewhere around that mark. And already on 13. JT, 16 HP, 1v4 and doesn't even have possession of the bomb. He's had a rough game this time around. He went above and beyond in the previous one. Grenade shreds him down to 11. But let's be honest, Blair, this round is pretty much a done deal. And that will be 11 rounds now for Liquid. Although they've had their issues, they've had their slips, they've had their slides, it seems like they've finally been able to stabilize a little bit. Oh, absolutely. And that's a great sign there. Again, Nap coming in so clutch, right? He's not a point. He's not necessarily the point of contact towards mid or towards B, but he's that guy who's going to be backing up for whatever happens. Oh, see there are a couple of whip shots getting punished for it, but Nap right below the window position, able to ensure that things don't spiral out of control. Huge half thus far from good old Nap. JT, <laughs> the amount of utility that's been lobbed in its direction. It's like, uh, the only thing remaining probably was a kitchen sink. 11 to three, Liquid, sure. There were times where it did look like a leaking container, that defense of theirs, but they have definitely managed to slap on his band-aids, make things much, much cleaner. As we head into the final round of this first half. And I have to say, despite the uh, Despite some of the heroics and complexity in stealing a few rounds away from Liquid, it has been kind of Liquid all the way here. The, the buy rounds, unfortunately for complexity, haven't really gotten much done at all. Yeah, and I think that's a good sign for Liquid as well. That they've gone through some adversity on this map, and they still have this powerhouse half on at least 11 rounds. Everyone's pulling their weight in terms of bragging. Allegi is now catapulting himself to 15. Nitro's on there with 10, who's joining his teammate up on ramp. And Elise is trying to pitch around the back of them. JT, though, makes sure work of Nitro before Elise breaks down too. And there's a third player in OC, but he has missed his shot. Realizing they're a player to the good, no reason for him to overextend, even give Complexity a sniff into this round. He wisely backs off and will be taking that backroom position with the AWP. So Complexity, they have muscled their way up ramp, but it's been a great cost. And guess who's still alive? It's your boy Shox, and how many times has he had flanks? And yeah, he's already flanking. He knows the timing as well. The Molotov gets deployed. Now once the bomb gets planted, that's his time to start to slowly creep on up from behind. This is already the bottom of ramp right now. Again, timing though. At least this time around, the bomb just got planted. And Shoxy, 
Biding his time, Floppy, he's making sure there's no flank taking place and he sees no one and now Shocksy, he's got an internal clock inside from ticking, he knows when it's time to pounce. This is just pure experience, great game sense coming together in perfect harmony, but he needs the rest of his teams to survive. He has to let the rest of his teams survive, and they do. Just about by the skin of their teeth, Naf on 19. If they both died there on the site, Shoxi's flank basically is for naught. They've seen that script, they've read it multiple times over. However, 12-3 half. We said coming into this map, Blair, we wanted Liquid to put down a declaration of intent to have a really good performance in this second map, get a great scoreline. You can see smiles on the faces. That's what you want to see if you're a Liquid fan right now because their confidence is building. They had a terrible start to this Challenger stage. It doesn't matter as long as you get the wins. Yeah, absolutely. Again, you get this win, you're going to be facing off against... Uh... I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. I was looking at some of the matchups. We, we could actually have an Astralis Liquid battle tomorrow for survival to make it a legend stage. So they have potentially a, a, a massive, massive game ahead, massive opponent ahead of them tomorrow. But right now, like you said, get the job done. Looking at the alt right on GG bet, it is, it, it, it's kind of one-sided there. 12 to 3 for Liquid here. They have so many opportunities here to close this one out in a very, very convincing fashion. But complexity though, let's see what they got here on their CT side. OC is just going to be holding W. Pauses for a second. And they slowly creep on back up. Gotta bear in mind. Nav is all the way towards mid, and they have a player waiting outside of B. They're making a lot of noise here, and Floppy's gonna come poking and prodding. The flashbang is good, and a leech will fall, and now they know it's gonna be the B hit, and that means Liquid have to make a bit of haste. And Grim has to have so much impact. There's one, all oh, the bombs go down as well, but Nap is quick to repair and isolate the rest of these CTs. JT and Junior, they were going so above and beyond, and Junior lands another headshot. That round was a blink and you'll miss it towards the end. The complexity, so vitally important that they won that pistol. They've done that, they've given themselves a lifeline, but are they gonna run into the same turbulence that Liquid did on their CT side? We're gonna find out though. For Liquid, no bomb getting planted means they're just gonna be going for the full eco. And why the hell not? You have so many rounds to work with, there's no need to kind of force things at the moment. It's fine, let Complexity have the couple of rounds here. I like that from from Liquid though, you had a little bit of a, a classic A fake and then pivoting back straight towards B, but Complexity re-aggressing towards short is what allowed them to go for the, uh, you know, go for the rotate just a couple of seconds faster, allowing them to shut down that push from Liquid. Right now though, just a, just a P to 50 in the hands of FNAF. And just Glocks abound. It's a long journey ahead here uh, for Complexity. Come on, Fang, you gotta check those angles. Well, that's especially confusing because Grim took down the player. There's no stilts to counter strike, right? you know? That, that's not on the, the buy menu. So you see the player boosted up. Surely he calls that to his teammate. Getting caught there. If he had a P250 over a Glock, that could very well be a kill. And that this in round gets a little bit more interesting. That being said, though, wasn't to be. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Liquid, however, what we can say for certainty is they've got a buy coming up. Yeah, they indeed have the buy coming up. AK Savant for each and every one of the members. Uh, Shocks should be buying up a... Probably depending where he goes for the smoke or a smoke and a molly combo. Indeed, that will be the case. A couple of mollies, five smokes for Liquid to work with and a multitude of, multitude of flashbangs. They have a leech. He does love taking his fights on ramp. Could be on the aggressive side or on the defending side. And OC in the meantime. Ooh, that nade actually doesn't do too much of damage. It goes sailing past as Liquid are making the presence felt on both parts of the map. We have a leech all the way towards ramp waiting patiently, waiting for any aggression. Nav making sure there's no aggression towards mid, and the three other members of Liquid slowly creeping and crawling their way up towards B stairs. They're not making it a secret, though. See the one-way smoke and floppy up close. MP9 at that range could be deadly. So far, he hasn't shown himself. Shocks dropping down. Flop finds the timing. Great flash from Grim, able to find Shoxy, but OC will trade immediately. Bear in mind, this is the bonus round for complexity. It is indeed. And a one for one may not be good enough for complexity, though, considering how much utility Liquid still possess. A 12 5 lead. Complexity, yes, it's a bonus, but they really need rounds. That is the currency that matters at this stage. Time's starting to dwindle away. Seeing some utility dropped across from the T's. Liquid still in thoughts. That smoke. 
banished to the nether realm as it just rolls away. Oh, oh C is about to roll some heads though. And it's Junior that walks into his crosshair. They completely bit down on this fake and this ruse. And now with 18 seconds, the site is clear. It's completely available for business. Complexity is still on A site. They may be thinking about saving some of these guns. Yes, they're in a bit of a bonus situation, but if they save this fan can buy an AWP for Junior, they also will be able to trade up some of these weapons. So they are playing for the bigger picture, but man, this puts them in such a grim position. 13-5 deficit already. Small little detail there from OC, right? He saw he saw the player, uh, was it Floppy? Uh, I think it was Junior, just walking on down the B stairs. And he took he, he took a sweet time. He took as long yeah. as possible because it's like the further the more he waits, the further the other defenders are going to be moving over to the B bomb side because they're going to be like, yeah, there's no one at B. It's, he's calling it. He's like, guys, there's no one at B right now. There's no one outside of B. You guys can rotate towards A. So wait to the final second. Gets the kill and immediately they just like it to the B bomb side. And complexity was so far away from the bomb side, they're like, you know what? Yeah, four v three. Let's just give it up. But if he'd got that kill a little bit earlier, perhaps maybe one of the CTs was maybe towards mid. He'd be towards CT spawn. He could have thrown in a, a smoke, a Molotov, something to delay that push. So small little things there. And OC ensuring that that round is pretty much sealed the moment he gets a second kill. And slowly but surely, Vince, Liquid, they march on 13 to 5. Three remain for them. As you pointed out earlier, the AWP in the hands of Junior. What can he do? He's been very quiet. A little bit of a flick shot as he spots shocks moving like a wraith inside of the smoke, but he won't find his mark. And for Liquid, they got everything. A1 in the hands of Leech, the AK-47 in the hands of Nafla. They come poking towards mid, taking a lot of space here. Fan with the MP9, though, he's going to try and play up close in front of the smoke, waiting, hoping for someone to show himself. But Liquid, they're allowing the utility to be deployed. They're waiting for all the smokes to dissipate before they take the fight. Because you got to bear in mind, they do have the weaponry advantage right now. Yes, firmly in favor of them. Oh, Junior. Trying to make something out of this one, though, but Junior gets caught in an awkward position. He's just dodging bullets in the smoke like Neo, but eventually, in this version, Agent Smith does come out ahead, and it's OC that whips off the aviators hmm. with a big grin on his face because he knows his team is only a matter of steps away from continuing their journey at the major complexity. Three rounds away from being eliminated. They know the importance of this round, and Floppy is going to keep this alive a little bit longer. He has been so integral to this complexity team throughout this best of three, but it may not be good enough. Now the grenades start to fire their way onto the site. All three of Liquid have the B site in their eyes. Floppy has the reflection of a Molotov in his. He tries to bypass it. Another molly behind it. Frag not forthcoming. A lot of damage on towards Naf, but it's not going to be enough for the kill. But now Grim will pick up the pieces, try and run home with them. Fang on 27, up against Naf, but he's nowhere near. And Naf's going to have enough time, more than enough time for this plant, and to vacate the premises, and to pick and choose where he comes in from. But Fang may get the drop on him. It's a FAMAS up against the AK-47, and it could all come down to timing. Fang's not sure where Naf is currently residing. I think his ankle's just been spotted, and Naf will slay him down. Liquid 14-5 in the lead, and are so close to eliminating complexity. 23 and 6 there. Oh, man, that repositioning coming out from Floppy. He did a great job getting the opening kill, deploying a smoke, and playing passively towards Jen with his teammate. But then he tries to reposition Vince and gets caught in no man's land. Three players looking his direction. And for Junior, listen, I, I, I don't want to keep just beating on a dead horse, but if you're going to be going for plays like that, you need to hit your shots. You absolutely, imperatively need to hit your shots, and he whipped both of them. There were two opportunities provided for him to find OC, and he gets none of them. 14 to 5. They, they just have to go for the, for the well, basically the eco here. Floppy going for the hero A1. He's able to at least find Nitro out of it. The rest of them just USPs and a deagle for Grim. They're trying to play for OT. Unless Floppy, Vince, unless Floppy can do something miraculous again. Or if Junior, from behind, can find one. It's just a USP, though, isn't it? It's going to have to get multiple shots before anyone reacts. Hold on a second. Junior, a snake in the grass. He spots all four plays. Oh, Information oh, relayed, no. but he was too patient. He was too kind, too merciful. And they will devour him post-haste. 
The only good news is they know where all four players are. So it makes Floppy's position that little bit more comparable to pull this round off. But Shocks will shut him down. And the one rifle they had by their side goes with him. USP and Deagle. Liquid looking like they're going to get a 10 round lead. Oh, and Junior must be devastated. That's the other side of the coin. We saw earlier OC's patience paid off so well for his teammates. Sometimes try not to get too creative, too smart with it. Just take the kills that you can get. He wanted to ensure he gets at least a couple of kills from the position bits. But yeah, like with a USB, it's hot. I see what I was trying to do. But Liquid, they're just so aware. They're like, hey, wait a minute. There could be a flank taking place over here. I, I feel for Junior there. I mean, I think he went for the right play. You just have the USP, so you know it's not going to be easy for you to get more than even one kill. And fortunately, sometimes Fortune doesn't quite favor the Brave. Sometimes Fortune just kicks you down <laughs> into the ground. Kicks you right in the teeth. In the teeth and all the soft parts, all the soft bits. bits. And unfortunately, right now for Complexity, it's looking like that. 10 map and match points for Liquid. The first one, a close, comparatively close affair in Ancient. Honestly, it could have gone the way of Complexity if a couple of clutches hadn't gone the way of Liquid. But this time around on Vertigo, sure, they're having a few stumbles, but apart from that, they have been looking good. That being said, though, great hold here from Junior and Grim. As OC, at least able to trade. He knows there's another player nearby. As the Leash going for a wild spray on top of the smoke, trying to find something. The flash is good, but Floppy snuck on in, but I think they know where he is. Floppy able to find one shock, spins around, and trades. But Grim is good enough to dispatch of him. The 1v3 for OC. And for complexity, one round in the long journey to take us to OT and stay alive. He's got just shy of a minute left. Clock is in his favor, but Grim's position with the flash preceding the peak is good enough to wipe out OC. They live to fight at least one more round, but there's going to have to be eight behind it if they want to take us to the promised land of OT. In fact, pardon me, it's even worse than that. It's going to have to be nine. Yep, a lot of rounds, Vince. Eight, nine, ten, quite a lot of rounds here needed for complexity been done before but it's never going to be easy pistols mac 10 in the hands of nitro going to be leading the charge the b defender they're getting kind of trapped or pinned down as it is going to be now like comes running out but grim holding down the fort finds four and it's all on shocks now one versus four able to take down jt but now position compromised bomb drop on the b bomb site Looking unlikely here. What a hole coming in for Grim. Sure, it was against the, the pistols and armor, but still a fantastic control of the AK-47 there. 17 kills to the Frenchman. We'll be looking to just carve as much carnage as he possibly can out of this round. They can buy again into the next round, regardless of whether he holds onto this AK or not. It's only Naft that's struggling, and he knows the importance of even taking one of these extra weapons away. But he'll always fancy himself a chance to potentially clutch this round out. But Fang on the off angle catches him off guard. And now it indeed is eight rounds required for complexity. That being said, though, Liquid didn't come in with a full purchase. They still have some money left in the bank balance. And what I'd like to see here is someone give Naf one of those rifles because he has been playing phenomenally. 25 kills. Please tell me he's not going to be the only player on a Deagle. He can make it work, don't get me wrong. But when he's playing this well, give that man an AK-47. I'm sure, I'm sure Shark's gonna be talking about this. Here we go. This is all Grimothy. Catching two players up in the air, and yeah, just a good hole. And listen, if he falls there, there's no other defenders in the B-bomb site. And suddenly, Liquid can just get the bomb down, push on up ahead aggressively, and make things comfortable. No way, come on, someone give him a gun. Come on, give Nap a gun, guys. <laughs> Surely. Simple's just look, watching this game with flashbacks <laughs> to, to the Zeus days. He's like, I've been there. I've where's, been there, Naf. Where is my AK? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Naf doesn't need an AK. That's the argument everyone made. They're like, Zeus needs an AK. Simple doesn't need anything. He just needs a deagle. Mate, nitro. <laughs> <laughs> this, this play, like Nitro, for example. Maybe pass across the Galil. It's Either right. way. Naf is going to get a kill with the D. Just watch. He, he very well could. He's, he's a very competent deagle player, no doubt. But most of his kills have come off the back of rifles. That being said, though, may not end up mattering.
because the rest of this Liquid team has been playing pretty damn well additionally. They have been locked down and stalled though at the bottom of ramp for the time being with a healthy dosage of smokes. Now throwing some counteractive ones in. Fang's getting up close. Light gap in the smoke allows JT to peer down, but the flash will force him away. Flash does so much though in favor of complexity as Fang capitalizes two quick fire kills. OC's dropped down to a measly eight HP and goes re-peeking into JT's crosshair. It's all coming apart at the seams for Liquid. They've been battered again. I'm not too sure why OC went for the peek when it's so very low, but yeah, complexity. Still signs of life, Vince. Still a pulse. It is still pretty, pretty strong. A shocksy. He's announcing his presence towards B. Right now, trying to inflict as much damage as he can, because this round is pretty much nigh unwinnable, and he will be taken down by Floppy. Getting close, getting being found there by shocks, but complexity. If you look at the demeanor, it doesn't even look like they're trailing behind substantially it just looks very calm that's good that's a good sign overall again i just want to remind you know everyone for, for complexity sure at the end of the major post post major you're going to have the uh, the roster mania so to speak right you might see yes. some players come and go mm -hmm. this is still a very young team yeah. very very young team you know playing uh they've been around for as a unit for the past like four or five months that's about it they qualify for the major itself a pretty a pretty good statement and they still have a lot of learning to do, right? Especially playing against teams like this in the region. This is where they get better. And you got to remember, some of the greatest, some of the best teams we've had recently have been teams who just stuck around for a while. No one expected them to do any any good, and they were able to prove everyone long, wrong. Uh, the new Cloud9 team, for example, comes to mind. For how long were they the the youngsters, so to speak, right? And how long it took them for to grind out and reach the level where they're now a top three team consistently, a top five at worst in the world. So. I, I really do believe in this complexity project. I just feel it's going to take a little bit more while before it starts to truly blossom. Maybe a couple of changes here and there. But it's a team that have the future stars of NA. I suppose, like, to play devil's advocate to some of those points, though, I completely agree with you. When you look at a team like Cloud9, previously Gambit, they had Shiro, they had Axile very early on, who were always players that were just super consistent in that online era. I look at complexity, some of the issues we talked about before. I think you're seeing here rising again in this very matchup. Junior has not had a great series. He's been a little bit lackluster. Fang's had some really great moments, but then has been a little bit quiet at times as well. And you're starting to see when it's getting close, when the chips are truly down, Liquid just have that extra firepower, that extra real experience that's prevailing and shining through. I mean, you look at their team, they've got shocks. This guy's been around forever. You know, he's been playing at this level for the longest time. Naf's been around for a long time now. Elish has as well. Nitro's obviously that grizzled veteran. It's really only OC that you look at and see as being maybe one of the more inexperienced players. And yet he's one of the players that's performing best at this major right now. So I think Liquid are in, in a pretty solid position as it stands. In this game as well, obviously we were just talking over that round. It was basically an eco bash. And now we're back into a very dangerous, threatening round for complexity. Yes, you've saved a few rounds. You've kept yourself in this, but it only takes one mistake. One huge moment like this that could turn everything against you. Good news, though, on the side of complexity is that Floppy was there to make sure that shocks didn't push any further. That was that was a bit ugly from JT. You can see the bullets trailing behind shocks. But at least, as he pointed out, Floppy was there to ensure that shocks doesn't get away with murder. Legion, in the meantime, once again, the gremlin of this a ramp position. Slowly making his way up, Junior. Now's the time to shine. Now is the time to show what you're made of. He's got the AWP in his hands. He knows the presence of the T's here. And he's going to go for the flick. Misses the first. And he will be caught by Elysia. Headshot through the smoke. And one by one, complexity, they start to fall, Vince. Three kills remain for Liquid. That may have been his last chance to dance at this major. And to a maybe in the rear view mirror shortly for complexity. Unless Grim, Fang or Floppy can find it within themselves. There is a flank coming in. As Floppy's trying to get round the back, he's going to have multiple avenues to come in. Two kills. That might be good enough. A target-rich environment. And he puts down two. 40 seconds still to play with, though. A healthy OC. A healthy Nitro. And Fang is watching the cross. They could fake a rotation. 
At some point, complexity may blink first, and that could be the way back in on the side of Liquid. Plenty of utility additionally. Now they know it must be the A hit. Smoke comes up and over. It won't affect either of these defenders, though. It's more shallow. Same with the Molotov. Good crosshair placement on Fang will yield the first frag and OC's missed his shot. Lands on the second time of asking. We'll never expect both players to be over on side and that will prove to be his downfall. Two huge things there for Complexity. Firstly, Floppy, again, massive 3k on the flank, finding two. In a position like that where you're seeing so many multiple targets, you can easily completely fluff your spray, but instead he finds two, gets taken down, and then the final two members of Complexity playing aggressively, playing not behind the side, but towards short. And the one mistake, one tiny mistake made there by Liquid, they didn't have any eyes towards short, right? And Sure, Nitro walks in, he gets taken down, but then OC, a little too far away to trade. And as you said, Vince, you were not expecting both the players being turtled up there. Great, great decision being made by Complexity in some of those current situations, because honestly, it felt like it was over. The moment Junior got taken down by Elige all the way towards ramp, it looked like Complexity were done for. But right now, they are on fire, on the precipice of getting knocked out. They are clinging on with the battered bloody fingernails, and they're not quite done yet. If half that deficit, it was 10, now down to five. And yes, Floppy's double kill on that flank was just, it was everything. Without those two kills, I think this is already a done deal. We're saying GG, we're wrapping it up. Complexity though, now against the half by. Now with a real chance to close the gap, close the noose and Floppy decides that he's gonna get up close and personal. He wants to take the fight to Liquid, and he's panning his stats up to 24. Naf, though, with the Tech 9, hold the phone for a second. Surely this isn't doable. 16 HP becomes zero, and Fang tends to agree. Complexity continue their winning ways. They're now just four behind Liquid. They needed to win 10 in a row, Vince. <laughs> it was 10 in a row for Complexity. You said they halved it, they've gone one step further. Six now, and four remaining to take us potentially to overtime. And when you head OT, everything resets, boys and girls. Everything resets. And that's when things get very interesting indeed. Naf, though, valid attempt with the Tech 9. There are nice little taps to find a couple of kills. There's a leash this time around. Taking the brunt of the utility and the bullets from the CTs down to 40 points of felt, and it'll just hop back to safety. As Shocks and Nitro this time around, not just Shocks. Make the presence felt towards the stairs. Junior, another missed shot. Fortunately for him, he will find a little window to reposition himself and play from a little bit more of a passive angle. The double stack towards mid. Junior on the B bomb side and two players playing pretty aggressively towards A short position. Complexity, they're not trying to overthink things here. But for Liquid, they're slowly but surely grouping up. Make, making a little bit of noise towards mid. But with majority of them, it does look like the way they're positioned right now, they will eventually be grouping up and heading towards the B bomb site. Flash does stall Liquid a little bit longer, but it didn't seem like they were ready to push regardless. He said that everything resets at OT, but the mental anguish and the tilt certainly won't if Liquid let it get that far. So they're gonna try and push in here and not allow that to take shape. First kill onto Junior. Once again, is the first player to fall. Now Shox has gone from strength to strength, but it's that man again. It's floppy, but he's been dethroned, capitulated. The marriage on the site has been annulled, and now Liquid are looking good to take this match and make it theirs. But Fang still has a couple frags in his pocket. Fang goes in for more, suddenly down to Elise. This was a two on four, and suddenly now Complexity have this in the palm of their hand. Elise and Nisa land some massive frags, and Complexity refuse to lose. They keep themselves alive again. That is actually insane. That is actually insane from Complexity. 2v4. The round was done, Vince. That was it. The game was over and Complexity just, just refused to die. The star, dim, faded, still shining in the sky. And Liquid are probably just left... If I'm Liquid, I'm just calling attack timeout right now. I'm just, want, I'm just trying to talk through what went wrong there. We didn't see JT's POV. But huge, huge round there. And poor Elite, he was already 40 HP from the beginning of the round, and he had to try and clutch that one out. You can see Grim, bit of a smile breaking out here for him. 
Complexity now, seven on the trot. This comeback, it's definitely real right now. The only question is, can they complete it? Can they take us to OT? As OC will be whittled down with 13 HP. Complexity. This is, I mean, I won't lie. I'm genuinely impressed with how they've had the, the tenacity to cling on here, Vince. Yes, the resilience, the grit. To hold on, I think Liquid have made some misplays. Don't think that's an unfair assessment or thing to say. For sure. But there is two sides to every story, and Complexity have made the most of their opportunities. Very similar to that first half. You know, their three main rounds came off the back of pistols where Liquid made some oversteps. And now Complexity, the three rounds shy, the damage is significant. It's unconfirmed, but Elysian and OC are both reeling off the back of that. This is this is so huge. Look at, the, like, like you pointed out, Elysian OC, 6 and 12 HP respectively. And if you look at the money they have right now, if they lose this round, right, they don't, don't save the weapons. If they lose this round, they're not going to have much money to, coming round number 29. They will potentially go for a save or some upgraded pistols. Sure, they have max loss bonus, but it's just going to be some upgraded, maybe a Galil, maybe some pistols coming out. And that is complex. They can easily get to round number 14. But that being said, Elige, he will find JT. So despite the players being so very low, they're going to find the headshot. Shot finds bang, and Junior replies back. Can Complexity pull the rabbit out the hat again? It's not looking good. Nafly cauterizing the rest of the map. They can now focus their attention on the site. Junior and Floppy may be healthy, but the bomb is already ticking away in the background. And they can hear the faint pulse, perhaps of their major, slowly ebbing away in tandem with the bomb. Half of that fuse now remains. Four players on complexity. Yes, OC is low, but their positions are so deep, so passive. There's a flank element coming in, and it's Shocks and Nafly to get it done. Complexity eliminated, and Liquid go two and two.